We're here at the UFC Ultimate Fighter tryouts, and um, it's a very interesting day. The day starts out with the potential contestants coming in, and then what they do is they go through a little uh, grappling with an opponent that Dana White sets up with them, and then from there they go into a striking trial, hitting the uh, tie pads, and then uh, after that, the, if they're selected, they'll go into a personal interview uh, as far as their personality and so on to see if they're uh, appropriate for uh, the show. We're actually here with uh, Vaughn Lee, and um, I figured we'd interview him because he had such an exceptional uh, grappling performance as well as a striking performance. Uh, Dana White's actually giving out $100 for, for every uh, sub. And uh, Vaughn, how many did you get today? Uh, I got four. I broke the record, actually. Uh, broke the record. So I got $400. Who do you train with uh, in, in England? I train at um, UTC, Ultimate Training Centre uh, in Birmingham. Um, it used to be home to Paul Relentless Taylor, um, but he moved on, made his own gym, and uh, now trains at Calbon. So uh, I'm kind of the head coach there now. Do it. That's uh, very interesting. I'm actually slated to go to England. Maybe I'll look you up when I get there. You know, and I also noticed something very interesting about Vaughn. Um, I just happened to be watching him across the room. And how many subs did you get? That's, uh, what, $400. And he was uh, nice enough. What a gentleman he is. He actually gave the $400 to the gentleman that he tapped out four times. And that, to me, that's a mark of a true champion, talent and a good heart. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's, he came all this way, do you know what I mean? So uh, it's good to give him something, do you know what I mean? Thank you. And this is your uh, your your training partner, and he's he's going to be his uh, yeah, trying out yeah, for today. We're, we're not training partners. Um, I, we we know the same guys, you know, like Paul T Relentless Paul Taylor. He's my training partner now because I'm team I'm a team Calbon House of uh, Terry Aitem, Paul Taylor, Paul Sass, Mark Scanlon, Paul Kelly. You know, so you know brothers help each other out. You know, the f sport is small and it's a small community, so I'm just helping out. Yeah, it is. It's, it's growing uh, rather rapidly in England, though, right? It's, it's very big in England, actually. You know, shows have a problem getting fighters because fighters are all booked up, you know. So it's so many shows and a lot of fighters, too. So it's just booming, you know. Wow. Are you from Birmingham as well? No, I'm from Sweden, actually. I'm from Sweden, and I live in, in Sweden normally, but I travel all around the world. So part-time in Liverpool with my team, Cabon, and then I'm in the U.S. helping Brad Pickett out for his fight against Miguel Torres, so I'm heading to Miami, you know. So I helped Bruce Leroy out for his fight now in uh, Hansel's Grace, Hansel Gracie's, and that's what's up. Wow, you get around. And you speak like, how many languages? I speak seven languages. Wow, that's impressive, that's impressive. I, I like to see guys, and a lot of people think that MMA is a, a sport that's about being a brute, and uh, why I wanted to talk to these two gentlemen is because you have two guys that are very skilled, very, very talented fighters, multiple uh, I, linguists. I say like this, you know, it's very easy. How many guys started with MMA and then turned criminals? And how many guys were cr criminals and started MMA and s sorted their life out? It's true. It, it does It does help. Um, you know, it, it can definitely help you sort things out. Yes. Right, Vaughn? Definitely. <laughs> so $400? <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Good, luck. Good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you all.